Previously on Town Hall 11 Free to Play, we got to see that new Party King skin. Today, let's try out one of the most OP armies I've ever witnessed at Town Hall 11. Today, we're gonna rock the No Skill Spammer shirt for an army that you are going to absolutely love. Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Joe and welcome back for episode 23 of the Town Hall 11 Free to Play series. So from the very start of this series, I believe I targeted the wrong army to really focus in on an upgrade. We started with the Miners and Hog Riders, really focusing in on that Miner Hog Rider hybrid attack. Really strong army, don't get this wrong. It is a powerful army, but we have one that's even better than that one and it does not require queen walking at all. So quick backstory on this army. I did a collaboration with Clash Bashing about five months ago and it was literally the first time that I saw that army. So we're gonna credit this army to Clash Bashing. He's the one that showed it to me first. So this is the army that we're going to be using today. We got four ice golems, 11 bowlers, eight witches, and we have bat spells in the composition. This army is nothing but spam heaven, and I like these types of armies when I'm feeling kind of lazy, guys. If I don't want to do any queen walking and I just want to go in and three-star base, this is a good go-to strategy. So how does this thing work anyways? This is more of a clan war base. We're doing some friendly challenging, practicing over here in Battle Elite, prepping for the clan war leagues. And so realistically, you got one Electro Dragon in the army. And the point behind the Electro Dragon is to really set your funnel. But you gotta be aware of where those air defenses are located. So this side of the base did not look very good for Electro Dragons, but this side had a little bit of value. So I wanted to try it out over here. Got the E-Drag down. We got that Barbarian King dropped over there they're doing clearance this is what the barb king is really used for he's a really good funneler and then you also get his additional ability and then you get more buildings and all the other good stuff but that's not really what we want to highlight here so the way this army works is you set one side funnel you're going to do a little bit of clearance on the opposite side and we're going to start by dropping our ice golems spreading our bowlers across the back row dropping our witches back behind them and then we're going to release the wall wrecker and the archer queen and the grand warden now you might have a little bit of a split here in your troops but we're going to have the main group focus into this channel on this base now the wall wrecker is traveling towards the town halls area we don't want to place a wall wrecker in this location because it's just going to drop the troops and not really be effective for clearance of the base so you want that wall wrecker to travel through the base and head towards the clan castle troops what's inside that clan castle looks like we've got a bunch of goblins for some reason now this is a little bit of a distraction so it's not a bad option for clan castle troops but not necessarily what some of you might consider as the best. We're going to use that Grand Warden's ability to protect our troops from the Eagle Artillery's uh, barrage. And then the Wall Wrecker, you'll notice that it's traveled all the way throughout the entire base, opening up multiple compartments, allowing our bowlers and witches to continue to travel. Now the bats, I kind of dropped them inside the base instead of outside the base. There's really, you know, it's kind of more beneficial to drop them on the outside, do a bat wave. But I wanted to get rid of that multi-target Inferno Tower. This army is really, really good against single Single target inferno towers if you see single targets this is the army that you want to go with but you'll notice that those bats were able to clear the inferno tower get rid of the wizard tower that i did not freeze and clear out all the point defenses and hidden tesla's on the opposite side of the base so again man we have plenty of troops to finish out this attack and they'll be able to get down the town hall very easily we're going to go ahead and speed this one up that way you can see the army for yourself but i'm going to do some of these live today and try to do out in global on some pretty high level basis to see how OP it really is. So back on the main village, for those of you that care about the development of this account, we cannot use this strategy today on this account, unfortunately, because we have not unlocked our ice golem. So I'm probably very similar to many of you that are just now starting out at Town Hall 11, but today's army is really kind of a motivational factor to say, this is the army that you wanna start upgrading immediately. So once we get the ice golems unlocked, we will start targeting them and upgrading them. And I'm going to go ahead and switch accounts, but before I do so, I'm going to go ahead and put down our final gold storage for upgrade. That way we can maximize our gold storage and upgrade our Eagle Artillery in the very near future. Now I'm going to go ahead and switch accounts right now to Joe version 2. You guys have seen this account multiple times over the last couple of days because this one has the higher level troops and I get to play with all these different strategies. So this is the army that we're going to be using today right here. Let you get a good eye on that one. And I'm going to go find a base real fast. 
Now this looks like a very suitable base that many of you might see in Clan Wars. Some might be using stuff like this. This one's actually quite ideal because we got single target Inferno Tower. So what's really bad when it comes to defending against this army? Well, let's see here. Eagle Artilleries are bad. Mm-hmm. The uh, Wizard Towers, those are also very bad. Okay. And then also the multi-target Inferno Tower. Very, very bad. Okay. So <laughs> we're going to go ahead and start targeting down here in the bottom side of the base. We have to do some funneling and that's what our our electro dragon is for so we're gonna drop it down in this area because one we have a wizard tower and i'm not seeing any air defenses looks like they're kind of tucked inside the base so we're gonna allow that electro dragon to work a little bit and hopefully i didn't spend too much time talking about it and we're gonna try to open up this compartment where the single target inferno tower is located so hopefully we can get some pretty decent value out of this electro dragon as a matter of fact i think we're gonna drop a minion right there and i think that's far enough away from everything and the e-drag is inside oh my goodness look at how much value that electro dragon got all these buildings are stacked really close together oh i like that that's very nice all right so let's do this we're gonna go ahead and drop ice golem ice golem ice golem ice golem and let's drop our bowlers that looks good we're gonna place our king let's go ahead and drop the wall wrecker to enter that compartment and open it up we're gonna place our witches drop our queen let's go ahead and release this uh, balloon to go over there and die and we're gonna place our our grand warden so let's go ahead and drop a rage spell in this area let's go ahead and freeze that single target for a moment that way we can open up the next layer of compartment and it looks like our troops have gotten into this very dense area so we're going to use a grand warden's ability so you got to really pay attention to what's happening here because your troops will spread out across the base looks like the wall wrecker is going to open up the layer to the town hall we're going to go ahead and drop our rage spell right about there and let's see if we can bring our bats in across the top side of the base let's go ahead and drop our bats across the top we got two free spells to keep our troops alive so the bats are going to do very well on the top side through the hidden teslas and the archer towers looks like we have one wizard tower remaining and the ice golem is in fact going to crush it now unfortunately we did not have any clan castle troops defending clan castle troops on this base so we didn't really get to see that effect but overall this army just crushed this base with ease, man. It's just, oh my goodness, that is, that's insane, huh? I mean, I didn't really have to do much. I didn't even have to think about it very much. We just dropped troops and let them work, you know what I mean? So this army is, wow, I like this. We're gonna find another raid real fast. All right, so I did a couple of raids off cam and then I realized I should probably stop doing it live because I'm missing a lot of details when I'm doing the attack live. Now, I did not find a ring style base. I was looking for a ring style base because you have to funnel those differently with this army than what you would do on the previous bases. But this base should serve us fine and there was a couple of parameters when it came to the defenses that really stood out to me and this is what I'm going to explain to you. We got single target Inferno Towers right here and here. They're in the center of the base. We got a center place town hall. We got a clan castle next to us so there's a possibility of clan castle troops when it comes to those wizard towers where are they placed we have one on the corner over here one on this corner and we have two down here on the bottom side of the base and then we have this baby one over here so we could come around the back end of the base with our bats and basically flank through this area and come up from the bottom side and we can use our kill squad which is our ice golems bowlers and witches to target this upper portion to get rid of that eagle artillery very early in the raid that way it's not dropping barrages down on your bowlers and destroying them. So what happens here is we have to funnel this base properly first, and we have an Electro Dragon in our composition. This section works out really nice. We have an air defense that's kind of tucked in. It's a little bit farther down. So the Electro Dragon should be able to eliminate these buildings over here and basically keep our witches and bowlers from walking around the outside of the base. On the opposite side, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna drop the Barb King on this army camp, and this is gonna cause him to work his way back into the location of the intended entry point, which happens to be this far upper left-hand side. So we're gonna drop our Ice Golems, our Bowlers, they're gonna find a couple of giant bombs, placing our Witches, Wall Wrecker next, then our Archer Queen, and then our Grand Warden. We've activated the Eagle Artillery, and you will notice that that Electro Dragon was successful with elimination of buildings on the upper right-hand side, and our troops are basically all cycled into one area. They're not spreading out, they're all together. This is where it's called Spam Heaven, so to speak, or Mass Spam, and a lot of players can't stand this stuff, but some of you guys out there love it, and I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna say this is bad. This is actually a good thing because these troops do belong in the game, and players do very well with armies like this. 
So at this point, we should activate the clan castle troops. Unfortunately, there are no electro dragons or any lava hounds or anything like that. But the archer queen is back here to help if there is anything like that coming out of there. So we're going to use our rage spell in the beginning to power these troops up. The wall wreckers busting through compartments gonna open up this section. We're gonna use that Grand Warden's ability right there to keep our troops alive. Now what's happening here is we got the bowlers and the witches in the center of the base under rage and they are getting some serious power of destruction on these expos, these cannons, these bomb towers and eliminating these defenses. Also, on the far right side of the base, you're going to notice that we have an archer tower, we'll have a wizard tower, and an expo targeting these troops right here. So this gives us the opportunity to sneak our bats in back behind. We have our assault troops, and we have our flanking troops. And the flanking troops are going to work their way around the back end of the base and clear out the buildings that are distracted on our assault troops. So this is where we're going to have to properly time our freeze spells and drop them in a manner to save both the assault troops and the flanking troops so we're going to protect our ice golem here with this free spell shutting down that expo in this wizard tower and the bats are going to move in take it down very easily we have two more free spells and we have two additional wizard towers that we've planned for but we have such a strong assault group that they're going to eliminate the wizard towers before the bats ever arrive but we would have dropped our free spell on those wizard towers had our group never made it to the back side of this base so i wanted to slow this down a little bit point out the details on things that you really need to look for and hopefully you get a better understanding on how this army works and as long as you funnel properly move your troops into the base very nicely you should be able to have a nice group of assault moving hand in hand with your flanking troops and crushing these bases with ease but again this comes with practice, it comes with repetition, and proper timing and funneling on the right bases. And on that note, I do believe that that's going to wrap us up for today, guys. So we've spent the first 30 days of this series working towards one particular army, the Minor Hog Rider Hybrid Attack. Now, that army's phenomenal, guys. It's a, it's a great army, but some of you out there might not be able to queen walk very well, or you might not be able to get those siege barracks. So you have to have an alternative army that you could go to. Now, even though the army that we looked at today was a very spammy type army and a lot of players frown upon such things it does have the ability to fail so you do need to practice the things that we talked about in today's video and get out there and have a good time man if the army is working for you then why not use it if you enjoyed our content make sure you leave a like on the video and subscribe if you have not done so already and if you like watching us every single day turn on those notifications if you need any additional video support or you want to see the town hall 11 free to play series from the very beginning click one of those links over there and we will see you in the next one guys take care